All right, so this video we're going to look how to sketch a Venn diagram and shade it and use shading to show the sets. Well, this is the first part of the video. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have them break this up into two videos. Uh, this is going to be A intersect B, A union B, and then down here we have the complement of A. So that's going to be this video, and then the second video you might you'll probably want to watch it. It's the one where we're you know we'll have something like this, It'll be a little more complicated. We'll combine we'll combine intersection, union, and complement. But it's important to know uh, it's important to know the basic the basic three: the intersection, union, and complement. And I'll have a link to this video in the description, so you can you can check that out. All right, <clears throat> so let's look at this one first, and I'll also have a video uh, where we have three sets: A, B, and C. You can check that out. All right, so let's look at this one first. So A intersect B. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the two sets. Okay. So Here's, here's set A and here's set B. All right, so we want the intersection. Well, the intersection is what they have in common. So you can hopefully you can see it's going to be this part right here. That's where they overlap. But let, let me show you this. Look at this real quick. Let's shade in A. So if we shade in A just using straight lines, Okay, and and of course on this one you're, you're not going to need to show all of this work that I'm showing right now, but I just want you to see this so it'll help you understand the other video better. All right, now let's look at set B. Let's shade it in, and let's shade it using a different color and making the lines go vertical instead of horizontal. Okay. And now the intersection, think of it like this. The intersection is what they have in common. Okay. Well, what do they have in common? It's where the lines overlap. See where the lines overlap? So this is the part that would be shaded in for the intersection. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let's see. So all of this would be erased. Well, so I'm going to draw that back in. And there's B. So that's how you would go about doing it. Okay? But like I said, you, you can get this without doing the lines, but I wanted you to see that. All right. So now let's look at this A union B. So let's draw that in. So let's draw in A. And let's draw in B. All right, so let's do like we did in the in the first one. Let's draw lines representing A, and we'll draw them horizontal. And and it, and then we'll have to think about what union means. And then here's B shaded in. Okay, so remember what A union B is. Remember what union is. It's everything in set A plus everything in set B, or whatever's in both of them combined into one set. So for union, what would we shade? We would shade everywhere there's a line, because remember, union is everything in set A and everything in set B. Okay. So for this one, we would actually shade in all of this, and this would be the union everything shaded. Okay. All right, now let's look at complement. So the complement of A. So here we have just one set A. So what's the complement of a set? Well, it's everything outside of that set that's in the universal set. Now, the square here, this entire square that's considered the universal set. So the complement is everything in the universal set that's not in A. 
So you can probably get this by saying, well, that's everything outside of the circle would be shaded in. And that's correct. But let's look at it with the lines. So if we look at this, we shade in A. Okay, so this is A. Well, what do we want? Everything not in A. So what's everything that doesn't have a line? That would be outside here. So this, all of this out here would be shaded. And I know that's not a very good job of shading, but you get the idea. Okay, all of that would be shaded, and the lines here would go away. And there's A, and so that would be the complement of A. And I'll say this, if you've got these three down, the intersection, union, and complement, the other ones are going to be easy. And the doing the one with three sets will be easy also. So check out the other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.